born in the 2G side of things. So chopping 23, ladies and gentlemen, chopping 23. His hair is one thing that will sell him out if he connects to the cosmic point of view and relates to the alpha. Shit, God. No, let me not go deep into this. Ladies and gentlemen, a brother man black like Obama in the beast black subterraneous. Without further ado, introducing to all of us the next star and the shining star, the next foreign exchange of Ghana's Afrobeat to the whole Yasi, even in Suasi. Introducing to all of us Yao Dao. Akwaba. Yeja. Welcome to the show, Kimpe, my brother. Thank you. How are you so doing? I'm so honored to be here. Yeah, I'm we're honored well. to have you as well. I'm very well. How are you? Yeah, we're managing, maintaining these over here. You look good. 23. Thanks, thanks. You look <laughs> chopping as well. 23. Well, yeah. And you're chopping on a 747 Derrigin this year, 23. You know, in 2023. Yes, please. And you know why you're blessed? You're blessed because yesterday you see what happened inside the GH. Yeah, I saw everything. I was at the Volta region for a show, but then okay. I experienced it. rained it. over there? Yeah. It rained in the Volta region? The, the, the weather was so cold. Yeah. I think it was a great experience, though. First off, let me ask you, what would you say to somebody who says there's no God? Hey. No, no, no. There is God. There is something bigger mm. that I think everybody needs to believe. Mm. And also, you know, put God in everything, whatever they right. do here. Yeah. That's, God, that's just the point. It's just because just yesterday, what happened, the whole GH, and I was asking myself when I was home, I was asking myself, Do you because I said, What is that person trying to say? You understand? Yeah. Anyways, bro. Yao entry. Yao entry. Yeah. That was your claim to fame in the underground world. Yes, please. Okay. But then what were you doing? Just normal music, music like from studio to studio. Mm. Like, you know, a regular music doing. Mm. Just you go to studio, then, you know, you record demo, mm. try to push it. Right. But then there was no financial support. Okay. So mm -hmm. we were doing what we can. Mm -hmm. But I'm grateful that after the label, they changed my name from Yao Entry to Yao Darling. So I will just say it's like Zavnat Pane Adiel. Yeah. God has changed my name. Right. And it has really helped me right. a lot. Let us know you personally. For instance, I mean, I introduced you to be the next style of Afrobeat. Yeah. But when we talk about Yao Enchi or Yao Darling, who are you? All right. I am a young, talented Afrobeat and high life artist mm -hmm. from Ghana, mm -hmm. Central Region precisely. Big shout outs to my people from Asifosu. That's my hometown. Yeah, that's okay. where I'm from. Trying to make life out of music. Okay, so you're from Asimfosu? Yes, please. So, okay. Kennedy, okay. Japan's town. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Montre, 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 <laughs> Montre. But, um, what is your why in music? Sorry? What is your why in music? All right. So, what got me into music was, I started, I started everything as a drummer. Mm. I played drum for like two years. I was very good. Mm. And from there, when I entered SHS, I know how to dance very well. So, you know, and I, I used to rap way back in variety shows and entertainment shows and stuff. Mm. I used to rap, not nah, Headmaster Spray, Scout Mr. Wow! Yeah, so I was Scooby. very good. Obrio Boa Senior High School. Boa. Big shout outs to them. Yeah. Right, 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 right. So I think I was say drumming. And mm -hmm. also, I have a kind of feeling. The moment you play chord progression, that's really like connective mm. or like a melodious cause I, I will feel it inside my soul mm. my capillaries mm. yeah you feel it so inside like your soul your what my capillaries yeah. my heart is hold on, <laughs> hold on for me hold on for me wait today we're going to talk deep into you your life your music your new label and all i mean your music heads but right now ladies and gentlemen um Let's go check out this particular one. When we come back, we'll take it from there. This trans uh, I just want to understand the transition. This particular song is titled Have Fallen um, is it Have Fallen for You. Have, have fall Fallen ha in Love. In love. Yeah. Have Fallen in Love. Yeah, back then, back then, the name 
was Yao Entry. Check out this particular video. When we come back, we take it from this point of view and then we'll dive into Yao Darling after this one. Falling in love. I've fallen in love. My brother man, Yao Entry in the infamous. Sad of things right now, Yao Darling. Now let's talk about this one, for instance. This is when you was doing it alone. Yes. Doing your own thing. You financed the song? Everything. I paid for production and video, everything. Ah, when, when was this video shot? Two years ago. Two years ago? Yeah, way back in Asi. By then you were 21? Yeah. 21? Yeah, I was 21. So how did you finance the video shoot? So, <laughs> you see, after ICHS, I decided to work because there was no support for me to continue my education. So I started to do this more, 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 mobile money merchanting. So I decided to, you know, invest the money in my talent. Okay. So I did it. So this, this video, this video, for instance, um, the vixen in the video, mm -hmm. how did you get her? She's also in Asin? No, no. She lives in Accra here. So, so the director, get... uh -huh. director was my close friend. Okay. Uh, so he linked me to the girl and I paid like, I think it was 250 cities. Then she pulled down Then we did everything. Wow, you're determined. Yeah, I can't fail. <laughs> Based on this video, yeah. you see how I, I, I'm silent. Based on this video, yeah. I just want to ask you, 23, as I then you were 21, yeah. you had a vision, you had a drive, you had a dream that you wanted to do something for a record label or somebody to come through to support you. Yeah. And this video we just saw is classic. And after this video, you know the amazing thing? Yeah. I got a label from um, Tokyo. So they sent me money and I even did my, they did my passport and everything, but then it didn't work. And after like two months, I got Sky Entertainment. Right. Yeah, because I was really pushing hard, hard, hard. Yeah. Right. Right. Who, 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 who are your parents? All right. They live in Assim. My mom is from Assim, but okay. my dad is in Takradi. They are all alive. Yeah, yeah, not really. I have only dad. I lost my mom when I, when I was a little boy. So oh, may, may her soul rest in peace. I decided not to disclose it, but since right now I need to let people know what I've been through you, and where I'm heading to. You need to be known. Yeah. yeah. This is showbiz. Yeah. I mean, you need to be known so that maybe you can't really tell. You understand? Yeah. So may her soul rest in peace. Yeah. Um, but before you started this music thing, did you have any convo with your dad? <laughs> it was tough. It was mm. hard. Mm. Because my dad even rejected me because I chose music. Why? Because, because you, you to do chose music, music. To do music, obey on whom you might be brave. This is a be. Sometimes you go out and you come back maybe late. And I was living with a guardian. In a safe or soon. Okay. Uh, sick of my dad used to live in Takra mm -hmm. So I was living with a guardian. And you know how it goes, living with a guardian, or being chair and sitting. Uh, mm. No, no, no. They will never allow you to do that thing. Go to school. Just go to school. But how come your dad disowned you? Because you're not living with him. Actually, he got married to somebody else. Yeah. Uh -huh. So he was busy, you know, living his own life. Excuse me to say that. No, but you, say, you just said your dad disowned you because I you went chose to Takradi to visit him. Okay. Uh, and, you know, his family members were talking about me. Why is your son having this kind of hairstyle? hairstyle? Yeah. And my dad knows that, oh, my, my son is good at music and, you know, entertainment stuff. So mm. I was expecting him to defend me. Okay. But he said this, 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 that, that. But even I went back to him after I got a deal and he blessed me. He even blessed me before I got a deal. And I still went back. We even talked to this. Uh, so right now, I think he, he, he supports me with everything, his heart and everything. Yeah, he prays mm -hmm. for me a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. But when you were trying to make it, he wasn't Nah, there for you. nah. It was difficult. It was difficult. Mm -hmm. So now, if you would do music, yeah, nah. I would disown you, like you are not my son or something. He said that? Oh, a whole lot. No, I'm saying he said that. Oh, a lot has happened. Lotus. And and when you got a deal, was he the one who called you or you you called him when you got a deal? I called him. Uh huh. You yeah. told him you finally you've gotten yourself a deal, and then he 
he for that one he was okay to bless you. Yeah, he was okay. Okay. Yeah. So right now there's no qualms, there's, there's nothing. Yeah, he's cool with me. Mm. Yeah. I even want to blow fast and get him a Benz or something. Like right. Build him a house. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Well, let's put ourselves in his shoes. Maybe he had a different perspective yeah. for music. I understand that. You understand? And uh, maybe or there's something more to that. You see, there is this mindset of Africans, mm. parents, like mm. I mean, especially Ghana. Sakrani ye nyumpe. It's never like that. You can't be everything. But my but depends on you know sometimes the background where you are coming from. Yeah, yeah, I get you. There's a Oshiri there. That's just the only I didn't really say that, but then we hear on street vibes and ourselves that this kind of. Career not it, go, it goes with cobol or name, some vibes be ha. To a mojin saw your crab on it, but it's never like that. Mm. But so if you per what you've experienced now or maybe our father disown you, but when you are deal no or co friend or call back and bless someone, what would you want to tell maybe I will be our share somebody like you who's also talented, but no parents in person obey your music. What would you want to tell the person before we go on? Uh, with uh, the, the, the conversation with respect to your music? The person needs to just keep pushing, but then I think the TV stations need to also have a kind of show that will educate our parents on this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. like they need to talk to them. You see, I can't just move to my parents and tell them, like, oh, I want to do music, so and I, just understand me, give me the chance, just leave me alone, let me do what I feel. Mm -hmm. But you people, you have the Mouth, you know, the platform. the platform, so you can organize a show mm -hmm. and talk to our parents about this whole talent and career thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so about Chene cry, just leave, leave him because nobody knows. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's your educational background? All right, I've only completed SHS. Okay, which year? 2019. 2019. Obriabua. Yeah. Obriabua. And afterwards, it's been music. It's been music. Yeah. Decided to focus on music, mm -hmm. and even when I came to Accra mm -hmm. after the deal 2021, 20, mm -hmm. the record label took me to Coach Freeman for vocal training. training. Uh, so, big shout outs to Coach Freeman for the love and support mm -hmm. and everything. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And big shout outs to my team Sky Entertainment and, and the Dust team, my CEO, too. Right. Yeah, they've already they've, they've really invested in me and helped me a lot, and I really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Big ups going out to you, Andy Dusty and Lombini. Big shouts going out to all of you and Sky Entertainment to the fullest. So these are the music heads you're working with. Yes, please. You know, you know the the um, the things and the works of my brother man, Lombini. You know the works of Andy Dusty. You know, yeah, doesn't it greatest. put weight on you? I see it to be a blessing because even getting the opportunity to meet Andy Dusty. Elombini, um, Bulare, Bulare. You know, I've had so many experiences, mm. like massive experience. Mm. I never thought of that. I'm grateful. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Looking at the music fraternity, if I'm to start with Afrobeat specifically, looking mm. at the, um, that fraternity, what do you think the industry lacks looking from uh, an artist's point of view? I think we need to stick to our traditional thing. Like you see, we have that high life, mm -hmm. and for me, I'm a high life and Afrobeat artist. Right. But right now, Ghanaians are more into Afrobeat, Afrobeats, living our own culture, which is high life. Mm -hmm. So I think we need to make sure that any project or any masterpiece that we put out, mm -hmm. there needs to be a fill of, a blend of Afrobeat and high life. We need to have that feel. Okay. Because if you listen to my song, the pull-up song, and even the one you just played, mm. you hear her life, mm. uh -huh, which is our traditional thing. Right. So I think we need to stick to it. Mm. Yeah. Do you, do you play any instrument? I only know the basic I can produce. Wow. Yeah. So you see, I, I used to be one of the best drummers. So mm. Mm. way back now, I had a to SHS. Right. Right. Yeah. right. right. The musicians in Ghana, um, who is your real model? I didn't say role model, real model. I look to so many people. Like Give me like five. Five. <laughs> I listen to Dasibre, 
a lot. Mm. May his soul rest in perfect yes. peace. That's a bread. Could you entry? I'm actually the day. Then I listen to, you say, can promise so many people. Kiddy, see, they are, they are our people. They are like legends to us. So you right. can't just come out with that without looking up to them. Right. Yeah, so I look to Sarkodie as well, though mm. I'm not a rapper, mm. but I listen to Sarkodie a lot. Mm. He really inspires me, mm. yeah. The way he carries himself, everything, yeah. Since 2019 till now, who has taught you something? Who, which of the musicians has taught you something from a distance? All right, I think the first day I met Famille, Great. Famille advised me, Stoneboy, Stoneboy to advise mm. me, even Kwame Eugene. Right. Yeah, I think so many what, what was fear. Famia's advice to you, if you'd like to share? All right, he said this industry is really tough and it's like, not like, a, you shouldn't trust because people will just be smiling to your face, pretending as evil. We love you, like you are a brother, this, this, this. You just have to, you just have to be in your lane and focus and do what you can do. Mm. Yeah, he said a lot, but it's been like one and a half years, so I think yeah, you can't I really... picked... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you said for me and who else? Okay, Stone Boy too. Stone Boy. What and was Stone Boy? Just the Stone Boy's advice to you was what? I think I played one of my songs to, to him. him. Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. it will be the next release after Pull Up. Great. And what he did listened he say? to the song and he said, Nah, this boy got something. Yeah. So Ghanaians needs to, you know accept me and push me and also I need to put in more work and bring songs that will sound better in people's ears right. than the one that are out right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he told me to initially to push, put in more works and push harder. Right. Yeah. How many songs roughly do you have out? Officially. Mm. After the record label, like my whole life. No, your, your whole life. How many songs do you have out that people can get on YouTube uh, and then check it out? I used to have demos, but then I would say ma master track is only one. I fall in love and I fall in love. officially pull up is pull my up. second right. masterpiece song. Right. Yeah. Right. How did you get the nod to be signed to Sky Entertainment? All right, so they organized a show at my place, a simple Sky okay. Entertainment, mm -hmm. and I went and performed. It wasn't only me; so many artists. Right. And after the performance, mm -hmm. I got recognized. Mm -hmm. They told me to move to Accra. At I first, mean move to Accra and like come and live over here. Yeah okay. for a deal. Like. Okay. But then you see I have been hearing it a lot so I thought maybe this thing the Amatia so it'd be normal thing. Yeah. So I didn't I, I didn't even they told me to bring my song, send it through Gmail. I didn't send. Mm -hmm. So one month later the boss himself called me, the chairman of Sky Entertainment, big ups to him. Okay. Called me, yeah I want you to come to Accra. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the next morning, pa, a friend of mine in UK, big ups to Kunju, right. he paid for the transportation because I, I wasn't even having like one CD in my no, pocket. So I invested before, everything is gone into it. Yeah. Yeah. It makes sense. So he paid for everything, then I came to Accra. Mm -hmm. And from there, when I came, they took me to vocal training. And so they built me, they groomed me. Wow. So I've been through processes and, you know, I've learned a lot. Like, I know what I'm doing. Which, 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 where did you go for the vocal training? Jukebox, Coach Freeman. Straight. Yeah, big shout out to you. Straight. I'm humbled and grateful for Straight. everything. Straight. I love him. Straight. Yeah. Straight. Jukebox. Without him, I wouldn't have been here. You see, when you hear the vocals, you were like, ah, it sounds this, 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 this. Yeah. At first, though I used to sing Joe, but then, mm -hmm. even if I'm singing off key, I think it was normal because people were vibing to mm -hmm. it. But after I came to the vocal training, that is why I realized, I got to realize that, ah, so we have do re, me, um, sing F key, do this, do this. I didn't, didn't know. know. For set chest, voice and everything, yeah. I didn't know anything about it. Mm. So you, right now you're doing with the voice training or some way, I mean, so for, sometimes you go there to get one or two taps yeah, here and there. Yeah. Mm. How many years did you sign to Sky Entertainment? Five years. Five years. Yeah. You're signed for five years. Yes. Please. And how many how many months have you done? It's been thirty one days. Thirty one days. Yeah. Mm. Since we dropped this first mm. single, pull up. Mm. It's mm. been thirty one. So thirty one days. days signed to five years. And uh, would you want to share one of the things you are supposed to do for Sky Entertainment? 
I'm just gonna give out my best. And so far, they've seen it. Okay. Because I don't really relax. I don't sleep. You see, we, we don't rest when we are tired. Mm. We rest when we are done. done. Straight. And there's no time for sleeping. Mm. You're going hard. Right. Going hard. Uh, right, right. I like this one. I like this one. We don't rest when we are tired. We rest when we are done. Infamous words for my brother man, y'all, darling. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go check out the song. The conversation will still continue, but right now, you know, we're premiering. We're VQ in this particular song that resonates with a whole lot of people. When I watched the video, all I could tell about this particular video is that it's about being dedicated and loyal whilst you're in love. That is how I understood this particular video I'm VQ into your screens. I just say, yeah, yeah, you want to, you want to explain. elaborate it to them. Pardon me? I said I'll elaborate it. Elaborate so I, it. I want to go, go deep deeper, deeper into it. So right now, it. let's go check out this song. Somebody said this particular song is a Nigerian. And I said, oh, you can't okay. Just, we can't when, just let the Nigerian stuff into our, you know. That's right. So you are going to, we're going to expatiate in a bit deep into this particular song. It's my brother man, Yao Darling, signed to Sky Entertainment. Big shots going out to my brother man, El Lombini. Big shots going out to my brother man, Andy Dusty. Big shots going out to every individual who's in tune right now. Yao Darling with a song title, Pull Up, Pull Up, Pull Up. Full piece over there from my brother man, seated right next to me, Yao Darling. No. I mean, a whole lot of people say a whole lot of things, yes. He's not a Nigerian. I mean, if even he's a Nigerian, he's an African, but on your Nigerian or you're gonna neo I seen sad things and I mean I love I like the, the, what I saw over there. I mean two minutes, ten seconds of this video, yes. I see my godmother Kusi Japan in there, I see Andy Dusty rolling, and of course the chapin on the four force like the forty-four draws in this particular video. Yes. The video, everything about the video is classic. Are you sure you're twenty-three? I'm 23. Like, I will be 23 sure? in October. Yeah. So, like, right now, say you will be 22. 22. <laughs> you wrote this song I wrote yourself? everything myself. Huh? My songs are bigger than me. Okay. That it's is good, one It's thing. good you know. Yeah, because I see myself <clears throat> to be someone. There is this kind of... The soul in me yeah. is bigger than me. That is what I, I see. And yeah. that is what I feel. Yeah. More time. Yeah. October, when is your birthday? 30th. 30th? Yeah. Right, right. 22 counting 23 and you can do something like this. Yeah. And the people attribute it to Nigerian big star. Some, some, I mean, I've seen several messages over here. Some people say you're a fusion of Kwame Eugene, Westgate, yourself, oh. other Afrobeat God artists. we are blessed. So they need to, you know, gather the support mm. and support me because there's more in the pipeline hole and I think this is just the beginning, you know. This is first song. Yeah. So imagine, you know, it's been like 30 days. Yeah. 31, 30 days. So initially one month. Mm. And I have like 55K on YouTube right. as well. Yeah. So imagine three songs. Mm. Ah, we go to Grammys. Straight. Yeah. That's a target. Yeah, I dream big. Mm. When, when, do you, when do you look at getting the Grammy? All right. I think even like... Three days before the release, I did a video of myself, like right. a selfie, saying that I'll go to Grammys. Mm -hmm. Because I watched the Grammys and I was, you know, talking about it on social right. media, saying right. that because I know myself and yeah. I know my sound. Yeah. I know what I can do. Right. I know what I cannot do. Mm. 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 I know who I can get mm. to. Mm. And with the support of my record label as well. So, so, so okay, finish up. I'm good already. Mm. The only thing I need is the support, the push, the push. and God. Mm. And already. God has already signed. So I signed here. There's no endorsement deal with Zeno. Mm. I think say so. okay, I believe. I strongly believe. Yeah. 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 So for the five years that you've signed to Sky Entertainment, we're looking at you bringing a Grammy. Yeah, home. That's that's what you're saying. I'll do it within like two years. Straight. Yeah. Straight. For, for VGM, maybe I'll get it like within six months. Straight. Straight. <laughs> Straight. I like that. Yeah. I like that. I like that. So, how many songs roughly? We'll talk about this one in detail. But how many songs roughly do you have in your coffers now? I think 35, 40. 35, 40 songs. Yeah. Okay. The label. Yeah. Now, your first song we played when you had no record label, it was yourself alone. Only me. And the Vixens. 
Yes. Big this shout outs to the director, J.K. Brown. J.K. Brown. Yeah, and okay. the producer is Ika Wan. Right, yeah. right. And this one as well, you you did the song all by yourself. Myself. You featured nobody in there. Nobody. The, just the Vixens. Yeah. Why don't you feature anybody on your songs? See, right now, not like <laughs> me pass them, but then you see, our people talk a lot. Sorry about that. If I feature, let's say, our big stars or... <clears throat> Excuse me to say, one of the biggest music Artists. artists in Ghana here. Mm. Like they will be, they will say, "Yeah, it's only shining because this artist is on the project." Right. So I want to prove to them more that, like, I can do better. Oh, I can do it alone. Okay. And doing it alone too, like, I feel like it's cool. Mm. Rather than you know doing a song with someone who is already having the numbers, mm. you are jumping on somebody's fame. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I don't want that. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 this, this, this. Um, well, that's your explanation. But some people too have a view that if you're bad in musician or if you're known in the industry and you feature A-list or mainstream artists, mm -hmm. they tap rather on your glory mm -hmm. to themselves. I want to be called by, let's say, Sack or the, let's say, Stumwa is having an album and say, nah. or let's say, Kim Promise, Kofi Kinata, let's say, how much they they want mm -hmm. to release a song and. Mm -hmm. He said, oh, I need, I'm looking for a boy, your darling. Mm. That is what I want. I want to be called. Mm. Like the way I was called to be part of Sky Entertainment. Right. I was called by God and the label. Right. So I want to be called by, you know, our legends. Right. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Okay. You said, <clears throat> the I mean, when you went to see your dad yeah. back then, mm. um, the relatives or people around had yeah. issue with your hair. Yeah. Is there any special meaning to you, this hairstyle? All right. Way back, it wasn't like this. Okay. But then it was somehow similar to this one. Okay. Yeah, but it wasn't, it, it wasn't like this. I chose this after the label deal. Okay. So they sat down and planned about my brand okay. and the kind of look and the kind of sound I'm bringing out. Right. You see, I have a sweet sound. Mm. I wouldn't say I'm a fan boy, but then you be fan I look boy. talk for no, me. No, you be fan boy. Naturally. You yeah. be fan boy. Don't be fan make, boy. Uh -huh. make, make nobody like you. You yeah. be fine guy. Darling boy. Uh -huh. yeah. So, you see, looking at me, mm. being able to say, ah, who is this boy? Yeah. Why is he having this? Uh, yeah, so I think everything is God's plan. Be I as share, like, mm. Destiny thing. Uh -huh. Right. But the, what you just said about the future bit, all I, I want to know is, so in future, yeah. <clears throat> sorry, in future, would you, would, won't you do any feature? I would do. Probably do, but then I need to, you know, do more for it to become easy. Like, easy to become like, oh, the moment we go for a featuring from mm. um, Sark or the, it mm. won't be, it, it, won't, it won't be like, mm. We need to pay huge money. But he will say, oh, the boy is good, so I can right. even give him free verse. Right. Because right now, any artist in Ghana who, who has heard this song, like, will be like, oh, this boy is good. Mm. I, would, I would be happy to, you know, have him on a project or something. Mm. And it's, I think that would be perfect, right. rather than, you know, paying a huge money right. to be on. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, 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 what went into the production of Pull Up? All right, so big ups to. The Asso beat from Nigeria. Great. The producer is from Nigeria. Great. He produced Chicken, Jackie. Jackie. Yeah, okay. that song. So he came to Ghana and mm -hmm. we, we tried and we, we did like two songs or so. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two two different songs. Two different songs. Apart the other one was Cipher and this one was Only Me. Yeah. The, like Cipher was the title of your song or it was a Cipher? Like different people from different Nigeria, people. Ghana. Yeah. Okay. Who owns that Cipher? My record label. Your record label. So you have it? Yeah. So if we get on the YouTube right no, now. No, no, no. It's not out. It's not out yet. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's why I said there is more in the pipeline. Okay. Also. Okay. It's respect. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How many days did it take you to put this t together? Pull up? The pull up? Mm -hmm. One night. One night. You see, I, I will talk about my creative. Well, uh, what process. was your creative uh, process like? Being in the studio. Mm -hmm. With only the producer. So when I'm with you, mm -hmm. just play a connective, melodious course progression. Mm -hmm. The moment you start playing that, mm -hmm. 
if I'm connecting to it, I'll tell you that I'm connecting, so keep on playing. Right. So I'll start with a melody. Pa, 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 pa. With a the melody. Then I'll, I'll put in where, where, so like, I'll tell you to just give me a melodious beat, mm -hmm. sad beat or something. Then I'll just take it and go and sit close to a beach or something because I'm more inspired by the ocean. So when I, or when I'm alone, I want to be alone. Yeah. So that I can be connective enough to, you know, bring out the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm saying like, what is in me is bigger than what people see. Right. And it, it is hard for me to explain it to them. Okay. Even my own people, even my own parents, they don't know what is in me. Even myself. You don't yeah. know. Can I say you have an alter ego? No, really. Something takes over when you're in your element. Yeah. And that thing, what's your real name? Samuel Yao Enji. Samuel Yao Enji. Yeah. So the person talking to me right now, is it Yao Darling or Samuel Yao Enji? A blend of Samuel Yao Enji, but then Samuel, Samuel Yao Enji is like 80%. Yeah? And Yao Darling will be 20% now. Mm. Yeah, so right. at what point does Yao Darling take over you? When I'm on stage or like when I'm, you know, when I'm on stage or like when I'm in, in studio, but then when I'm connecting to the beat, right? Yeah, that is where yeah when people intervene, I would say that yeah to come up. Like. Okay, so your entry is rather let's the say you do. Let's say you 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 slap me right now. Mm. Excuse me, but mm. then let's I begin to cry. Mm -hmm. It's not your darling. It's your entry. Your Okay. They say, you tell me, let's go here. Then I say, oh, no, I don't feel like going out. Mm -hmm. It's Yahweh mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, because Yahweh, yeah, darling, is just a brand name. Okay. Yeah, because right now I'm a product. And I need to find a kind of name and a product name that will be, that people will buy. So that, like, when we put it out there, people will come and buy. Uh -huh. That's deep. It's too deep. Deep. Yeah. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Was it your coining? Yeah. Or it was the record label who gave it that title nah. to your song? You see, I wanted to advise people in a relationship. Right. But then I can't always, you know, go emotional. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't always be sad songs. Mm -hmm. Sometimes talk to people in some excitement way, you know. Right. So I decided to, you know, use a bouncy way. Since right now what is trending is more bouncy. Mm -hmm. But later then I'll take them back to <laughs> slow emotional vibes okay. i'll talk to them deep. deep so i just wanted this first sound to be bouncy and mm -hmm. you know some enjoyable mm -hmm. be uh, some vibes and so and right. then actually basically the song is about in in a, a relationship the energy should be 50 50. Right. if i bring 50 percent you bring 50. anytime right. i'm ready for you mm. you should also be ready for me mm. it shouldn't be like 70 30. Shouldn't be like always one side will be spending. Yeah. No. Good. The, the, the song, did you, did you record it or did you do the song uh, or ex uh, personal experience? Not really. Or hearsay? Or not. life? So I just look out and see what is happening. happening. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Or like maybe sometimes I watch movies. And then I will just use the story to write. Mm -hmm. Let's say we are here right now, and you are talking about um, birthday. Mm -hmm. And I will enter my room, start to write something. Or like if I watch a series, and the story is about a heartbreak, mm -hmm. I can use that story for. I shouldn't have disclosed this my creative style out, but then I need to also let people know. But how there's, more, goes. there's more. There is Even more. There is more. Yeah, I'm more secret. Yeah, there's more. Yeah. I'm more secret. I don't. I don't really like. You to. want us to know. That's why you said it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. You want us to know. That's why you said it. And pull up. I mean, this song is entering everywhere. Thank Everybody's you. talking about it. Thank but you. Uh, when people want to give respect to our brothers in Nigeria for your song, that's more reason why Larry Bozos have to pull you out, bring you over here wow. to cross check and uh, connect to where you're from. And you said you're from Asim, Asim, Asim Fosu. Big shout out to you. Yes, that is Ghana. I was there like three days ago. Three days ago. And they showed me <clears throat> massive support mm. and love, mm. unconditional love. Mm. Asim Fosu, bless mm. yeah. Why should Ghanaians accept you? Ghanaians. 
Firstly, I'm a Ghanaian. Mm. I'm their blood. Mm. They need to support me the, the same way they did for other people. <clears throat> and I'm saying this because I believe in myself. Mm -hmm. And I let my work talk for me. Mm -hmm. And so far, they've seen that the, the sound I'm having out right mm. now is huge. Mm. They like it, mm. so they should support me. Mm. So that I can, you know, put our name too on the map. The same way as Stomo and Sarko there and all that. Um, big big artists mm. have done for us so mm. I think they need to support me because mm. I've got a lot for them you signed for five years with Sky Entertainment yes please and so I would say five years from now yeah. you've mentioned names don't boy sack blah blah blah, blah. Yeah. five years from now which of these big names do you want to become I want to be bigger than them I want come to again? be bigger than them come again I want to be bigger than them Okay. Because I'm me. Right. Nobody can be me. That is Tomboy and Sarko the end. You see, so far as, who knows, maybe I'm the next to replace right. Michael Jackson. Right. But then our people, we mm -hmm. limit ourselves. We don't really believe in ourselves. That's right. Though nobody is perfect. But if you stand firm and say, I will do it, you can do it. Mm -hmm. hey. And I know I'll, I'll be big. Like, I'll be big. I know. You are big. I'm big already, yeah. but I'll be big. Straight. I believe it because I know what is in me. I'll be big. Right, right. Just right, time, yeah. Right, 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 right. Ladies and gentlemen, still introducing. I mean, we're still talking to my brother, man, Yao Darling, formerly Yao Enchi. And uh, he is one chap who is actually dealing or connecting the Afrobeat with the traditional Ghanaian or African feel to your screens and of course on all social media platforms in Tim Pacho wherever you is watching the show campaign right now apart from him seated over here he has music heads like the Andy Dusties like the Elombinis you know the repertoire of the likes of Elombinis and the likes with respect to Samini and I mean name all these artists and he is the one working with this particular gentleman seated right next to me he's only 22 He'll be 23 in a few. That's October, right? Yes, please. Steady. Straight. So they should. So, so any, gift. I mean, <laughs> let's support this young child. Let's support him. Let's support him. Let me, let me play the song again. So you get connected. Have the feel in there. But tell me, how do you choose these video fixings? Because it feels as though most of the ladies you pick for your videos are quite distinct, different from the other artists. Yeah. I wouldn't lie to you about it. I mean, because I play paint, I'm not going to play paint myself, but that's how many I click it. What's it? Many click it. So, and I also, I think if you are real and you are humble, Straight. I think you get more opportunities that you didn't even ask for. Mm. Because even getting Akushi Japan, yeah. big shout out to Akushi Japan and for yeah, help. It will be tough. Yeah. Uh -huh. So being humble. How, how, was it, how was it like to get her on this one? For me, I didn't even know she was coming around. I was there. Where? During the video shoot. Okay. We shot it at one of the universities in Accra here. Okay. Uh -huh. So I was there and I saw her and I went and kneeled down. I said, Mom, you are welcome. Okay. I never expected you. I mean, I'm actually a great fan of you, so okay. I'm so happy to see you here. Mm. And she blessed me right. and went on. That was all. Okay. Mm. How did you get Andy on there? Sorry? Andy, Andy. Andy. Yeah, Andy Dusty. Andy Dusty is my CEO. Uh, so he, he, he was he was present. So for him, you know, Ghana yeah, is big, so. Yeah. Uh -huh. Straight, straight, straight. Um, you said it didn't take you long before you put everything together. Yeah. Um, and uh, you pick inspiration. You can even leave here right now and do yeah. one or two based on the conversation we've had over here. Exactly. And. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, phone lines officially activated. You can call through and then talk to my brother, my bad before.